do. So I loaded up my old yellow canoe straight on down to the floor of Bama. I did ride. And the Gulf was calm and I hadn't gone far when I ran up on an old sandbar. Noticed something floating in the water nearby. So I paddled over to it just as fast as I could. Splishing, splashing, feeling real good. I kind of knew what I'd found. Lord, my heart was a thumping. Cause it was big and bulky and sure as hell. It was wrapped in plastic and had a funny smell. And I knew I just found a bale of something. Looks like a square air grouper. Now I've always been a pretty straight guy. Never drank much liquor. Never got high. I go to church on Sunday and love my mom and pa. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm an honest man. I believe in God and Uncle Sam. But today, I'm gonna break the law. So I reached down and I grabbed a hold. I wasn't too sure if it was green or gold. And to tell you the truth, it didn't really matter to me. Cause I knew right then by the size of this stash, I just found a bundle of cash. <laughs> and this was gonna be my way of boosting the This is some righteous stuff. In fact, all I could say was, I'm through with alcohol. So I took that bale and broke it on down, bagged it up, and passed a few around, and before I knew it, everybody was ringing my bell. Well, my wife didn't like the idea too much. People coming, going, and such. And she said, Tumbleweed, they're going to put your butt in jail. I said, Hold on now, darling, don't get rash. I just found us a bundle of cash, and if you play it cool, you just might get a big rock and a boat. Well, she looked up with a twinkle in her eye, and grabbed me by the hand and said, let's get high, and friends. That's just about all she wrote. Now, there's a boat in the yard, and I've become a singer. My wife's got a big old rock on her finger, and most every day we go fishing in a stupor. And my friends all say I'm getting out of hand because I quit my job. Started a band, but I blessed the day I found that old square grouper. Save the bales.